Hello YouTube, this is Chelsea from Stay with PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you recall, in the last tutorial, we were uh, finding GPU features that are supported for our physical device, and this is the last tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go a little bit uh, dig deeper into physical memory and also device queues. And why? Let me show you here. Uh, here is device queues, and here basically we are on the 36th page of the Pro Vulkan programming guide. And uh, this, we're going to be dealing in this tutorial with physical device memory and also uh, how to identify device queues and how to put flags that uh, we'll get more in detail of what each one of these flags do uh, when they're set. And uh, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, this is from the last tutorial, but here, here is new code. This is stuff that we added to this one. And basically, here is, uh, I'll show you the, the beginning of the program for those that want to copy along. And then the end, as you can see, the only thing that is new is this part right here. This is all that is new. And what it's basically is doing is, uh, this is the Vulcan physical device memory properties because we're dealing with memory. The Vulcan get physical device memory properties. Okay, so this one is the get, this is the physical device. Just like uh, in past tutorials, same thing here. Here we are, it's an uh, int on, on, on sign integer because it's going to give us a number, an integer um, um, for the amount of Q families. Uh, it will let us know how many Q families we have active working at, at that moment. We also have the Vulcan get physical device Q family properties, which is a device, amount of Q families, and null. Remember, this works just like in the last two, two tutorials where like the enumerate physical devices. You do it once with a null for the family pro properties, and then you do it a second time asking for family properties. Here is null, and there is family properties. Just like the in, 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 when we were using the enumerate physical properties, you got to repeat it twice. And in the middle is here, the Vulcan Q family properties and the pointer to family properties, and also screening a new with a Vulcan Q family properties, and then an array of amount of Q families. We run the loop in order to get the numbers of that array. And here we give, uh, here we give the number as we do the loop. It will loop around the amount of Q families. And then we use the numbers for the family properties of whatever it is, is, it is given to us. So basically this is the new thing that is from in this tutorial, and we are going to now explain what each of these flags are. Uh, we're asking for amount of Q families. So it's gonna give us the, uh, the families, the Q families, whether we have one, two, three, whatever. Uh, it's going to give us the, if we have two families, it's gonna give us Q family one, number one, Q family number two. It's going to give us, the, we're looking for the Vulcan Q graphics bit to see if it if it's supports it or not, if it's on or not, if it's set for on, basically. Vulcan Q com compute bit, Vulcan compute transfer bit, Vulcan Q sparse binding bit, the Q count, and time stamp valid bits. Okay, if, we, if you don't know what these are, we can go back and here in the guide they go for each it explains each one. Here is here is your Vulcan get physical device Q family properties. And they are the this is the prototype and it gives you the physical device in each one, whether it's a pointer or whether it's a int on sign int. Here same thing. 
get physical device here Vulcan Q family properties and these are some of, of the ones that we're using and here it explains what they are in, in the case of Vulcan Q graphics Q graphics bit if it's set then the queues in this family supports graphic operations such as drawing points, lines, and triangles. I don't want to read each one of them. You can read it yourself. But if this one is set, then it it supports computer operations. If this one is set, it supports transfer operations. And if this one is set, it supports memory binding operations. So that's basically what we're doing here with the physical device memory and device queues. So now let's run it. So let's close this one and clear LS. And basically this is the CMake, same CMake that we're using from before. Actually, let's just clean this because this is just extra stuff. Controls, uh, okay. And we also have it here repeated that we don't really need. Oh, that's the only one. Oh, here. It's okay. Finally, clean it. And then instead of find device features, is find device queues, as you can see here. Okay. Everything else stays the same. So control X. Yes. C make. It might give you a certain error. No. And there it goes. Properties. And there you go. How many Q families? Two. One. Number zero. And number one. Here, uh, the graphics bit is set to one transfer bit set to one uh compute bit to one transfer bit to one sparse binding to one q count 16 and time stamp value bit 64. in the q family number one is a little bit different it's one zero zero transfer bit one sparse binding zero q count is only one instead of 16 and the timestamp value bit stays the same. But if, like I said, if you really want to learn more about what uh, these uh, flags uh, entail and uh, how important they are, you can either read the Vulkan Programming Guide or you can also read the specs of the Lunar G. Uh, they go more into detail of for what these... Uh, each one of these variables are, each one of these uh, flags and properties are. But this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Have a great night.